everyone, I am the We Sonic the Angry Gamer here with the amazing and wonderful Still Rose. She is still away, but I found a way to record visual novels with her. And I'll be away for quite a bit of time. So far, it sounds like I won't be back home till June. And that's if she doesn't decide to stay there. I might. That's very tempting. Anyways. Welcome to Magical Otoge CL. It's a visual novel. She and I will be reading it out loud. And I am a bit mad because I already did like 10 minutes of this, but my mic wasn't recording. Yeah. I need to get used to the setup. I rarely record on the computer. Anyways, let's get right to it. All choices don't matter, except what route we want. That's it. Well, let's Enjoy the it. game! <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Are you getting enough sleep? I sure hope you are. So knowing you, you probably aren't. Don't call me out! If you don't like sleeping, how about a story to pass the time? I have one already. The story really happened in a universe far away from yours and mine. Okay, so stories are true? Uh, Rose? The, the internet go. Hey. You okay? What happened? Uh, I heard random beeping and nothing was happening. <laughs> yeah, you were frozen on my screen. I was like wondering what happened because I said stuff and you didn't weren't replying. I didn't well, hear anything. That actually goes for all stories. That was weird. You know, I was mentioning that it was. <laughs> uh, not to get us, not to get us called out, and the stories. Stories of heroes who undercame their deepest sorrows. What's Magic that song? worlds were the impossible. What's that song? Come the every day. It's from Beauty and the Beast and Chan Christmas. Oh, okay. And look at you. This one ends happily for once, and I kept skipping stuff because I'm distracted. I'm so called out on this one. Yeah. So, Rose, how many stories have you read where it ends tragically? No comment. <laughs> Alright, then. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Ciel in the kingdom called a marine. Ciel was smart, honest, and went to learn all about her world. Similar to Rose and her Disney. So they don't live in a castle. However, her father did not allow her to leave the home kingdom, not even once in her 18 years of life. She grew up with the company of the people within the kingdom and her many books outside the world. The outside world. She always hoped to see the world with her own eyes one day. Actually, what would you what he kind of reminds me of? What? The Star Child uh, pit crew. Have I sent you that one yet? No. Okay, I'll have to send it to you. Hmm. Even wrote a detailed plan travel guide. Still rejected. And the king really yelled at me this time. I guess he's tired of hearing me ask. Pardon me, but I do agree that it was a bit much of him. And just then, your father passed by the hallway. Dun dun dun! He kind of looks like uh. Malfoy's dad from Harry Potter. <laughs> I was wondering why he looked familiar. Yeah. Johans. CL. <laughs> <laughs> Your father left without looking at you. Disgraced. Rejected. His presence never changes. Are you alright, my princess? Did I just say my princess? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you, Florian. Why does no one believe me when I say I'm fine? <laughs> I see. The king doesn't seem to be giving in, even after all this time. I wonder if it would have been different if my mom was still alive. Oh. But I guess I wouldn't know. She was gone before I could remember what she was like. Yep, yeah, we're with that cliche, guys. The father is a jerk because mother died and he's super overprotective. Uh, yep. I guess I think that's what is going. King isn't ever going to let me out of Amarin. I'm not a kid anymore. Shall you say? I'm 18 years old. 
Or, well, I still have a lot to learn. That's why I want to go. You can leave when you're 29,000. Hey, Dad always said I couldn't watch a certain movie until I was 21. <laughs> I mean, true, but that's our father, and he created both of us, so... And her father created her. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what you mean. There are plenty of adventurers who are your age or younger. I don't know why the king insists on keeping you in the kingdom. And if you're wondering, I was such a person. Even if you are the princess and it's for your safety, this is a bit much. Well, I'm glad I at least have you on my side. All members of our royal family have a personal knight that they grew up with. I'm lucky to have Florian as mine. He's a few years older than me and has been with me as long as I can remember. Okay, this has been bothering me for a bit, but is it just me or does his outfit and her outfit remind you of like school uniforms? They might see at like a uh, military academy. I mean, yeah. I think it's just the art style. Maybe. Which, I must say, I do love the art style of this game. Yeah, the art style is pretty... I don't think I've seen an art style with a uh, look like similar to these. I think I've seen a few. Okay. Lorian worries a lot. It's kind of cold towards others, but he's always been nice to me. Well, since this isn't working, there's only one thing left to do, and I'm prepared to do it. One thing? Princess, you don't mean patricide! No, no, I wouldn't dream of doing that. Just because my father won't let me leave does not mean I'm going to kill him, Florian. <laughs> oh, I see. My apologies for mentioning it. Why I, I thought you were on the deep end. I apologize. It's something else. I don't think anyone's listening right now, but... Yeah, you know, it's just you and me and, like, three other subscribers watching this because Rose is in it. Hold on, let me whisper it to you. What? Uh, alright. Florian always seems a little uncomfortable when I get close to him even though we've always been together. I don't blame him for it or anything, but I wonder why. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, he may or may not care. Maybe he doesn't like me or something. <laughs> hint, uh, hint, nudge, nudge, you're on the incorrect mindset. <laughs> Sad thing is, we like to make fun of characters for being so oblivious. However, in real life, when someone likes you, how many of you, of you guys honestly tell your friends, no, they don't like me, they're just being friendly? <laughs> it happens. And then you have me, who it never really happens to. You don't socialize with people. <laughs> don't, okay, I only have one guy calling me out. I do not need you to. Yeah. Uh, right, you. you step close to Florian and cup your hands out his ears, whispering your plan to him. You do know no one can actually see you, right? I don't care. <laughs> I know a secret exit from the castle that leads out of Amarin. It's not in the hidden blueprints or any text of the castle either. I'm the only one who knows about it. Okay, quick question. I wonder what the like language looks like in this. Oh, what God, do you mean? not again. Oh, yes. never mind, you're moving. <laughs> I thought you, like, froze up there, but like, I wonder what the language is. Because usually in fantasy, it has, like, its own languages, but they just obviously translate it into, like, English or Japanese or whatever it needs to be. I don't know. I've checked it a few times, and there aren't any guards around there. I've decided. I'm going right away. Tonight! What? Are you serious? I am. I'm all packed up and ready. Anyway. I see. Are you sure about this? I am. I've always been thinking about it as a last resort. I know it won't be the most pleasant trip, so... You don't have to follow me if you don't want to. No, no I'll go anywhere if you want me to, princess. And also, you just said it was dangerous. Why would I want you to go by yourself? Rose. I go on trips by myself, and it's turned out pretty well for me. I went ghost hunting last night. See? Really. She's I'm gonna get possessed <laughs> by a ghost, guys. I'm happy to hear that. 
I'm also happy to hear about being possessed by a ghost, apparently. I'm happy to hear that, but I hope I'm not forcing you. Actually, no. I'm incorrect. You won't be possessed by a ghost. You'll just have the hitchhiking ghost follow you everywhere you go. That's fine. That's fine. Not at all. I was just a bit surprised. It's quite the investment, and it might be foolhardy last resort, but... Hey, are you coming or not? And this is the area where I found out my bike was off! For some reason! I don't know why. I need to figure out how this stupid thing walks. <laughs> I am. Alright then, thank you, Florian. Sorry, I'm still a bit bitter about that. I was hoping you'd come with me. I'd feel a lot better if you were with me, like always. No, it's nothing. I'm your knight, after all. In any case, I should prepare. It won't take long. Okay, I'll be waiting here then. Florian leaves. I can't believe I'm really gonna do it, but it's better than staying here forever. I want to know more about the world. There are things books can't teach you, after all. Correct, Rose. I'm experienced in the world. <laughs> Just then, a familiar face comes by. Oh, I think I messed up my uh, voice as princess. Oh, hi, Anton. Anton is Florian's older brother and is captain of the Royal Guard. Wait, hey, we choose between the brothers? Yes. Well, either way, we know where the bloodline's going. He's even more distant than Florian and looks scary. But he's a nice person. People don't believe me when I say that, though. He looks like a black knight. Untrustworthy. Are you in the middle of work? No, I was merely passing by. Where's Florian? He's just getting something from his room. He said he'd be right back. I see. In that case, I'll stay here until he comes back. Are you sure? Alright then. Anton's always really careful and attentive. He's a little too serious, though. Maybe that's why people are intimidated by him. Some visitors of the castle see Anton. Is that the infamous captain of uh, Marine's <clears throat> Royal Knights? Shh, keep your voice down! Not that I see no hurt about him be ever being angry, but... I mean, who wants to find out? Poor Saps just can't live to tell the tale. See those light lighter streaks in his hair? I heard that his tail color used to be pale like his brother's, but the enemies, the, but the blood of his enemies dyed it red. Poor Anton. I think he's used to it. That, and he doesn't care about what others say. I feel sorry for him. Jeez, why does he have such a vicious tail? Er, don't worry about them. That's your natural hair color, right? Actually, no. The story's <laughs> not true. See I you. did have white hair. Indeed. I can't imagine where these rumors come from. Probably because your hair is super red and amazing and everyone's jealous of it. Hmm. Are you harsh with training the Royal Knights? Maybe that's part of the reason. Yeah, let's blame you. It's all your Perhaps. fault. Perhaps. But I would rather be known of these rumors than be lenient. Now that I think about it, this might be the last time I see Anton in a while if everything goes well. Everything is not gonna go well! We never really talked much, but it still feels kind of lonesome. Sometimes the king has Florian travel outside of Amarine. It's to broaden his horizons or something. Weird how it's not the same for me. In those times, the king has Anton as my bodyguard instead. That started only a couple of years ago, though. I don't really remember interacting with Anton before that. I guess he was always busy with the Royal Knights. Is everything going well with Florian? Of course! He's always been my knight, after all. He was really helpful with my studies and research recently. Okay, so I need to be lighter on uh, Florian's voice and a bit more... I yeah, he has know. to have a deep voice. Yeah. Yes, he is. He is I older see. brother. That's good to hear, but it was rather careless of him to leave you alone right now. You worry too much. He probably just doesn't want to see me in his room. Is that so? I don't think that he could possibly have it in there worth hiding. And what could he possibly be achieving? It isn't like him to be forgetful. Okay, I would like to point out something here. In this time period, because I'm taking this to be like 
Medieval. Older time, I mean, medieval, older time periods, a woman would not just enter a man's room, and especially not a princess. I he mean, would... to be fair, most likely his room is just like, you know, the guards, like the guards. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, the princess still does not go back down there. True, Her father but... would probably have his head for that. That's why we don't tell the father! Uh, oh, er. We were just planning on visiting Amarine's town, so he's just making sure he has everything. I see. As always, take care and stay close to Florian. And don't get too close to the borders. I know, I know. You worry too much, Anson. Remember that if you ever need anything, the Royal Knights are here for you. Although, I would prefer if you called on me, if possible. What? <laughs> I trust the members of the Royal Knights, but it would give me a peace of mind nevertheless. Princess, is something the matter? You freaked me out. Uh-oh, he didn't mean anything weird by it, of course. He's a natural. Princess, you're still silent. Is something on your mind? Princess? No. Princess! No, it's nothing. I'm sorry, I had to. It's nice that he's protective, but Anson's a little too cautious. He actually doesn't want me to travel outside the kingdom, either. Were you asking the king for permission to leave the kingdom again? That's right. It didn't go too well, though. The king got mad at me. How did you know, though? The king mentions it to me from time to time. Are you the one telling him not to let me go? Uh, oh, really? That's a little embarrassing. I'm sure you've heard about all my failures to persuade him. Oh, Florian's back! Sorry to keep you waiting, Princess. Not at all. I will be taking my leave, then. Anton leaves! <laughs> Florian leaves! And turns Anton! Anton leaves! And turns Florian! Sia leaves, cause she's done. <laughs> <laughs> Sia leaves! The game is over! <laughs> Anton probably said something about me leaving you alone for a second, didn't he? You know him too well. Just that part of him. You two are the same as ever. Hmm. Are you really okay with leaving, Florian? You may not see Anton for a while. It's fine. We aren't particularly close anyway. Oh, I see. Well, we aren't on bad terms or anything. Because of our re uh, respective jobs, we don't spend much time around each other. We don't have much in common, I think. We don't look like at all either. Hmm, true. Off the top of my head, there are three similarities, though. Okay, here's the three differences. One, personality. Two, hair. Three, hair color. Four, outfits. Extreme protectiveness does not want me to leave the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, both of you have such pretty hair. I've always been a little jealous. Beep, look at your hair! That's fabulous! It is so flat. I mean, true, but still- Okay, but here's the thing, no one compares to Anton's! No, yeah, no. No, no one compares to Anton's. It kind of reminds me of Yona of the Dawn's red hair. Uh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And he's speechless. Good job. And you two both have the same eye color. Okay, so I was wrong about that. I didn't just get a good look at his eyes. Yeah, they're the same. Pretty much the same. you noticed? Uh, I've known you for, guys for years, of course I've noticed. And you're both really stubborn. <laughs> stubborn? I bet it's a family trait. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ouch! That's not... like, when? Am I really? Well, in any case, make sure you get some rest during the day if you want to leave tonight. I know, but that means you have to rest too, you know. No, well, I can't do that. I'm your bodyguard. Hmm, true. But it doesn't feel right to... But it doesn't feel right to rest while you can't. What if I asked Anton to watch over the both of us while we take a nap? Princess, that would be... Uncomfortable for everyone! Yeah, I imagine so. I'm kidding, of course. Secret relation wants to have him, we both know it. Shh! <laughs> don't, don't tell them! Then it's not gonna happen! 
I don't think it'd be that bad, though. Remember back when we were kids? Oh, she's trying to talk him into it. <laughs> oh, God, no. I stuck around you like my life depended on it. Well, it, it kind of does. Did. It kind of did. I mean, he's your bodyguard. If he's not around, your life is likely threatened. I think that's the point of the bodyguard, but yes, I remember. I was five and you were seven. It's kind of silly naming a seven-year-old a bodyguard, but that's the tradition. I am Who the... trusts a seven-year-old with a five-year-old? I feel like at five years old, she's more defenseless than she is currently at 18. Why would you trust a seven-year-old to be a bodyguard? I imagine it's a lot easier to kidnap a five-year-old than it is to kidnap an 18-year-old. Especially 18 -year -old. if a seven-year-old is guarding them. It's just okay. like, oh, okay, you're also going to the wagon. Pick up, throw in, pick up, throw in. There you go. Now you both got kidnapped. Tradition. Either way, I'm glad it turned out this way. I'm really lucky to have you as my knight, Florian. Thanks for everything. I still can't believe you're agreeing to this. Yes, well, like I said, I am your knight, after all. And I imagine... Lord of the Knight Masters of Law. I mean, imagine if he did stay, how much trouble he'd be in. You'd get executed! I'm not ordering you, though. If you don't want to come, I just go by myself. Orders from the master, words from the master, they're practically the same. Also, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just let you go on a reckless journey by yourself, Rose. Adventures! It's not that reckless. I have a plan. You helped me make this plan for weeks. How did he help her? I am. What? <laughs> right. I mean, wouldn't it be like, uh... Didn't he just hear about this plan? <laughs> no. No, actually, I don't think he said that they just learned of the plan. But, I mean, I guess he could have, like, helped with, like, finding out good places and what routes to take. True. Besides, I thought you had insomnia, so you wouldn't sleep at night either way. <laughs> just because he has insomnia does not mean you should be disencouraging him from sleeping. <laughs> Just because I've insomnia, <laughs> you know what I meant. I know, I know. You make me feel a little bad about bringing you along now. Y yes, but even if it wants so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Where you read this? Oh wait, we did. There we go. Hmm? No, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> hmm. You say so. Anyway, pick up a few extra things in town. I told Anson that's where we were going anyway. <laughs> no I'm one's sleeping! Hey, it's 23 minutes. minutes. Do you want to heal? How long has it been? Uh, 23 minutes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, well, that's all for this story time. We're going to shop. We're going shopping, and it's going to have a mini game. We have to connect the items that we want. I forgot about that. That's not actually in the game. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. This is We Sonic the Hedgehog Gamer with... The wonderful and marvelous Rose is back. And is leaving. CL is out the door. <laughs> Rose leaves. Rose leaves. We Sonic leaves. <laughs> Nobody's here. The viewers are left by the lonesome. And then it's just like well. an extra five minutes of just nothing. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. I hope to see all you guys next time. See you guys then. Okay, no ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now.